Latinos and Native American Indians. You make up of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, you are the true Hebrew Israelites according to this Bible. You are the sons of God. You are the saints. Salvation is for you. So in today's lesson, we're going to go into prophecy and feed the hopeful elect out there with the true warning of Yahweh Shem Yahushai showing you that we are in the time of World War III World War III so we're going to go into some scriptures showing to the Israelites to the elect that we're in that time that the the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is stirring up these other nations to fire off missiles over here to Babylon, okay, America, okay, in different parts of the world where the Lord is going to judge. This is why it's called the Battle of Armageddon. You're seeing you Israelites out there. You got to stay locked in, okay, you got to stay, you got to stay aware, okay, you got to be vigilant of what's going on. What's that mean? Watchful, because you and your family are about to be drafted very soon, very soon. Okay, the Lord talks about a draft, okay, there's going to be a draft right here in America. Why? Because they're going to need troops over there in the Middle East. See, because these same Edomites that ruled in Rome, okay, their military is spread out. Okay, all throughout the world. Okay, all throughout the world. Their military is spread thin. You see, same thing like the Romans did. Why? Because the same Edomites in power. Because if China attacks Taiwan, the U.S. is going to help out. Okay, the U.S. is already involved. Okay, with with Russia and Ukraine. You see, you can't expect just to give. Okay, Ukraine. Uh, high-tech, high-tech, okay, super military ad advances and missiles and just, and just tell Russia, okay, we're not involved, but we're just giving you high-tech missiles. No, okay, you're already involved. Okay, Russia's not gonna take that lightly. You see, that's why their, their missiles are aimed right here. Okay, their missiles are aimed right here because you can't be that simple, okay, to give a country and just say we're not helping them we're just giving them military weapons but we're not involved okay what are you simple you think the russians are going to take that lightly you see so this is why russia china iran north korea you see what they're testing okay but you wicked out there think that you're slick that the lord's not watching you you see, so the Lord has great judgments out here for you wicked doers out here. So you Israelites got to be paying attention because the Lord is moving things for His elect, for His children, for the 12 tribes. Okay, He's doing everything for His children It's because it's judgment time. This is what you Israelites got to understand is that he's moving these nations according to prophecy that way they can fight one another in World War III. World War III. You see, everything is leading to World War III.
Jeremiah chapter 51 and 11. Jeremiah chapter 51 and 11. Okay, this right here, these scriptures are going to go into how the Lord is stirring up the Russians. Okay, just to show you what's going on, how come, why, why is Putin saying that he's not going to hesitate to use those nuclear weapons? Okay, so pay attention. Okay, follow, follow along and we're going to break it down to you so you understand why the Lord is doing these things. Because he, he's doing it ultimately for his elect. Okay, what he purchased with his blood. Jeremiah chapter 51 and 11. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes for his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord the vengeance of his temple so the Lord saying that he's stirring up the Russians okay China Iran okay uh, Ethiopia okay the Lord is stirring up these other nations to come against Babylon America why because America has all you 12 tribes and slavery here in one location at the same time you see so so Babylon's judgment has come you see so the Lord is preparing we line we line the king of the meats. <laughs> Who's the king of the meats? Okay, that's the Russians. Because okay, the Russians are going to be the ones to get this nuclear war started. All right, then China will follow. Okay, you can see North Korea. They're constantly testing what? You see? Constantly testing. The U.S., you're constantly testing. You see? All right, because it's the Lord. He's stirring up you nations to fight one another so the Lord can judge all of you because you have all his children here in one location and slavery at the same time Jeremiah chapter 51 and 11 make bright the arrows so right now the Lord is having all these nations that have nuclear capability Okay, he's, he's telling them to test them, get them ready, because they will be used in World War III. They will be used. Gather the shields. The Lord has raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. See that? Because the Lord is stirring up the Russians. See that? He's putting it in their minds for war. This is why they're not slowing down. Okay, the, what did that old, the old leader from Russia say? Okay, he quoted Revelation chapter 9. Telling you, showing you what the intentions of the Lord is. Okay, the Lord is about to nuke this place. That's right. The Lord has raised up the spirit of the kings of me. So he's stirring up the Russians. Right here in the middle of that 11th verse is, is very important. Okay, th this, is, this is the key. Right here. Why is the Lord stirring up the Russians? Okay, is it, is it because only for Ukraine? Okay, is it for to take down Taiwan? Right here in the middle, it's gonna show you who exactly the Lord is stirring up the Russians for. Okay, because to you simpletons out there, 
Okay, to you simpletons out there, the Lord is a man of war. Okay, so you, uh, you wicked doers, you can't imagine his strategy. Okay, his tactics of war. The Lord is a man of war. Okay, the Lord, he wants a good fight. Okay, the Lord wants a good fight. He can't wait to get down here. So this is what the Lord's doing. He's picking a fight. Okay, the Lord is stirring up the Russians. You see? Because Babylon has been proud against the Lord and his children. Gather the shields, the Lord Yahweh hath raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes to the Russians. So right now, he's putting it in the Russians for war. World War III, you're not gonna hesitate to press that button. Okay, he even told you that himself. Showing, that's from the Lord. Here we go. For his device is against Babylon. So the Russians are not even worried about Ukraine. Okay, that's, that's low level, that's low. Okay, that's small talk. Okay, that's just fluff news. You see that? The, the Russians don't even have their best soldiers over there in Ukraine. They have them reserved for who? Babylon. See? Because you cannot, you cannot imagine, okay, the tactics and strategy of the Lord. Okay, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. For his device is against Babylon. So that means those ICBMs, those nuclear missiles, those supersonic missiles. And Putin, Putin is straight up telling you that he has missiles that are so fast that the U.S. can't even detect them, you see? And then those supersonic missiles, if he shoots them at a low altitude, okay, the military has seconds, seconds. We're talking not even a minute, seconds to respond. You see that? Seconds. And that's the missiles that you know about. So you know the Lord has special missiles that you don't even know about you see because the Lord has a real treat for you wicked doers because you think you're mr. know-it-all you guys know everything you see but you got to remember the Lord's a man of war okay he's been waiting for this day just like you wicked doers you can't you can't wait to release your terminators your androids okay your retarded clones okay they're hilarious by the way all right the Lord can't wait to unleash his weapons of war, okay? His, his, his nuclear missiles, okay? Those are the army of the Lord. To destroy it, see? To destroy it. So, is the Lord stirring up the Russians for what? Just to fire off one missile? No. The Lord is telling us that he's going to use these nations to completely destroy Babylon. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Because it is the vengeance of the Lord. See that? It's the vengeance of the Lord. Because the Lord is stirring up these nations so he can, they can fire off their missiles to judge this wicked place. The vengeance of his temple. So it's the vengeance of the Lord. It is the vengeance of the Lord. Let me know when you're still going into that. I got a piece of, uh, I got the beginning of that Jeremiah 51. 
and Isaiah 13 and 17. Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. Because you Israelites out there, you got to remember how the Lord left. Okay, he was brutally murdered. He was crucified. Okay, who? By the so-called white man. Okay, the Edomites. Okay, the true Edomites. Okay, not those of you who look like Caucasians who believe in the Lord. Okay, you true Edomites. Okay, because you beat the Lord. Okay, you beat the Lord. So right here, Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year my redeem has come. So the Lord is telling us that he hasn't forgot. Okay, because remember how the Lord left the earth. Okay. He was being, okay, he was murdered. Yahweh Shai, who the, who the world stubbornly calls Jesus Christ. See, how did he leave this earth? Okay, he was beaten. Okay, his skin was torn off of him. How did the Lord, how did he leave this earth? He was crucified. Okay, and two thirds of you wicked Israelites sold them out. Okay, you guys sold them out. Two thirds of you wicked Israelites, okay, not talking about the elect, okay, not talking about the righteous, but you wicked doers. Okay, you're the same spirits that sold out the Lord. You see, that had the Lord crucified and said and told Pontius Pilate, yeah, give us Barabbas, a thief and a murderer, and kill Yahweh Shai. See, you're the same wicked Israelites out here, okay, that sold the Lord. Okay, you guys, you guys delivered up the Lord to be crucified. You're the same wicked Israelites down here today. This is why the Lord has you in, in strong delusions because you're believing a lie and that's going to lead to your destruction because the Lord, He wants to judge you. You see? But the so-called Edomites, the so-called white men, all right, the true biblical Edomites, you're going straight into slavery. Starting off with you international bankers. Okay, you Rockefellers. Okay, you ugly Rothschilds. Oppenheimers, you DuPonts. You see? You elites. Okay, you elite bankers are gonna be the first crops of slaves. Straight up, when Yahweh Shai gets here. Because remember how Yahweh Shai left the planet Earth. Okay, he was beaten and he was sold out by his own people. By his own people. This is what we're seeing today. Because there's a lot of mess going on between you Israelites. A lot of mess. Okay, you guys are fighting one another. Okay, you guys are killing one another. Amongst you tribes. Okay, you, the, between the so-called black man, the so-called Latino, and the so-called Native American Indian. All right, you guys are killing each other. Okay, you guys are, you guys are sleeping with each other's wives and husbands. Okay, you guys are killing each other. You're the same people. There's a lot of mess going on between you tribes. Straight up. And the Lord's about to judge this place. You got it, King. So continuing on in the spirit, man. Uh, he didn't read uh, the beginning of the, the Jeremiah 51, but that also goes into it. Okay, because he was, he was getting the point. So I'm going to read a little bit of Jeremiah 51 through, uh, through about 11. Because he, he read from 11. I'll, I'll stop at 10 then. 
and then uh, we'll get Isaiah 13. That whole chapter, that whole chapter is small, but it goes into this World War III, and it's all right now. The spirits going into is the Russians, okay? Because the Russians are threatening uh, with nuclear missiles, okay? And they're, they're not afraid to use it, okay? And uh, there's a lot going on with North Korea attacking these other attacking uh, what was it? Uh, South Korea, all right? And, and the U.S. Is, is is getting involved a little bit, okay? So this is what the, this is what we've been waiting for. And this is what the Lord is telling you to, to look out for, because World War III is in the scriptures, all right, and uh, and it's gonna come to pass, all right, because it's brewing before your very eyes, all right. Prophecy, which means to tell before, is coming to pass before your very eyes, all right. So Jeremiah 51 and 1 says, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, which means to look, I will raise up against Babylon." So the Lord is raising up an army, okay, a, a, a destroying wind, all right, judgment against Babylon, all right. Ancient Babylon was destroyed, so this, this is talking about Bab Babylon the Great, all right, the, the, the daughter of Babylon, okay, the, the mother of harlots, okay, which is the land of the north, okay, which it has an in influence throughout the whole world, because everybody wants to come to Babylon the Great, all right, and, 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 so, and make it so-called in this world, all right, because they know, they know where it's at, okay, because the Lord uh, had raised up this place all the way high, all right, so that he could bring it all the way low. Okay, in an instant. So it says, And raised up against Babylon, against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. A destroying wind. So the Lord is saying that he's doing this because, right, the, the wicked of, the, of these governments, Edom, and these other nations, are right, you wicked Israelites, you, you, you raise up. Not only do you hate the Lord and his word, but you take action against it. Okay, but his prophets, they just warn you. Okay, they're, they're just telling you straight up, thus saith the Lord through the Bible. Okay. Hold on, we're, we're gonna let this ambulance go by real quick, okay? Because uh, whatever you know, whatever you you notice, all right, wherever the true brothers are at, wherever the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is at, the chariots always show up, and the enemies always come around the belt, all right? Because they're trying they're trying to disrupt the word, and they don't want it getting to our people, but they can't stop the word getting to the elect, all right? And they, they know this, all right? So they're, they're fighting they're fighting against the impossible, all right? But it says. And I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her, which means destroy her, and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. So when this destruction cometh in fullness, because it's, it's building up right before your eyes, if, if, you, if you're paying attention. Okay, if you don't know, now you know. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. And against him that lifteth up himself against his brigadine, spare ye not her young men. Destroy ye utterly all her hosts, her armies, and, and the inhabitants thereof. All right, because the Lord is coming for extreme uh, violent destruction. All right, suddenly. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, which is this wicked elite, and they sh that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken. It begins with the elect. because. Uh,